2003, I went from a person that was at the top of his game, had everything coming, to a year later having absolutely no idea where life is going or if you're going to be able to even be a part of life as we all know it. I hear everything that the crowd is saying. I hear it. So it's like this place where it was a refuge is now being bombarded with all kinds of things that they would say. And uh, I had to separate myself. Because going through that, that time, I felt like there's so many things coming at once. It was just becoming very, very confusing. I had to organize things. So I created black mountain. So Kobe has to deal with these issues, all the personal challenges. The black mamba steps on court and does what he does. One day, she throws his clothes out into the street. everything that he was going through, and he tells me the story. He has a game against the Orlando Magic. First time, he says he's never felt like he wanted to even be at a basketball game. He couldn't concentrate at all. Felt like he's lost everything at one point in the first half. And then second half, uh, at halftime, he kind of has this moment where he goes, well, I may have ruined my life. I may have, I may have never come back from this, but the one thing I can control right now is what I do on the basketball court. Half. It's a totally different story. It's a totally different dude. <laughs> this dude came out and was kicking our butts. He had one point in the first half, finished the game with 38. They won the game, came back. I mean, it, it, it was, you know, I don't know what happened. It was a tale of <laughs> two different Kobe Bryant's. Brian against McGrady. Oh, he's a spectacular. 